Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Um, just wanted to make a quick video about my Magic Mushroom Grow Kit that I got from Magic Mushroom Kits dot, or Magic Mushroom Kit dot CA. And um, I was a little skeptical, a little worried at the beginning because uh, I had just purchased some Dr. Grinspoon seeds from uh, uh, Upper Canada Seed Bank. And after about 30, 40 days and tons of emails, I uh, re found a little bit of research, found out that they actually had fraudulently uh, taken my money and uh, would not send the seeds as they had done so to many other their consumers. Um, I, I know at one point or another they were a reputable seed bank. However, I don't know how that how, how they've held up over time because all I see online is tons and tons of comments and, and uh, forums talking about how they've ripped other people off. So stay away from the Upper Canada Seed Bank. And um, <clears throat> uh, and let me just, uh, <clears throat> without further ado, continue here. Sorry for clearing my throat. Um, so I got this uh, grow kit off of uh, the, uh, that, the, site, the site I said, Magic Mushroom Kit, magicmushroomkit.ca. I'll put a, a link in the description on the video. But, um, it came with everything in it that I needed. It came with the dirt. It came with uh, uh, the the lid on the uh, the mushroom grow kit here. It came with the uh, you know the tray. Everything I needed: the soil, the hay, the uh, the substrate. Um, the mycelium is already grown and had uh, uh, was in a jar, so I just had to add it into the hay after I had boiled it in the burlap sack and uh, <clears throat> made sure I had a nice clean. Con um, non-contaminated station to work in um as they recommended they said to have a little heater close by in case temperatures fluctuate but um there was no fluctuation in the beginning in my area as you can see it's 28.3 degrees celsius they recommend to keep it between 26 and 28 <clears throat> my room never really went below 26 to 28 it kept uh between that steady without me even having to turn on a heater or anything until uh, just the past week, it's gotten quite cool out, and uh, I had to put this on because about two nights ago, I came out and uh, uh, it was 18 degrees Celsius out here, and they say do not let it go below 18 degrees Celsius. However, I've heard some people say you have to cold shock your pucks to get them to start pinning and growing, and it seems after that, they all of a sudden started to pin, because in the book that they gave me, they said that it wouldn't start growing for about a month after you give them the first light. So they gave you a little booklet here that comes with your order. It tells you exactly what to do. Everything. You don't have to go online. You don't have to look anything up. They tell you everything you have to do from pasteurization to spawning. You got casing and fruiting. And any questions you have, you can always contact them. They're very easy to get a hold of. Um, but here it says that... Uh, at the end, you'll notice, or not at the end, um, so it says, uh, mycelium will grow up through the soil. Mushroom pinning can be expected within one month after adding light. However, it can take up to two months or longer for fruiting. So this had me a little worried, and uh, I was ex hoping to have this ready in time for my birthday on September 22nd, but um, it was September 1st when I gave this these guys their first 12 hours of light. Okay, and today is September 12th. Let's take a look at this. Let's see if I have my sprayer in here. No, I guess it's, um... I guess it's inside. Okay. All right. Um, anyways, let me show you. So, September 9th, it's only been nine days, and as you can see, I have pinning. I have mushrooms. Very excited when I came out here this morning and seen it. I counted all the brown tips. I have about 50 brown heads that I can see right now. All the gold caps, they call them. But I have 50 that I can see right now. Each one of those... Um, uh, white circles too, or white dots, are also going to become mushrooms. So it's easy. I'm going to easily get hundreds of mushrooms in this. I'm very, very pleased. 
very impressed and uh, I would highly recommend getting from these guys buying a, a grow kit from these guys it was a uh, a little pricey but it's definitely worth it in the end you will guaranteed uh, get a, a flush that's definitely worth it worth the cost so anyways take care guys thanks for tuning in happy growing